The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, international kind of weird treats, and our national favorites, alone or in head-to-head battles. We um, are the Snack Authority. I am Jess. Here is Dave. Hi. Hi. There is Mikey. Hello. Hola. And our Ed. I'm here. And today, the reason I I, I want to talk about national favorites is I think we do have another round of national favorites. Yes, but uh, I don't know if this is a limited release or what, but Mm -hmm. it it is a limited release. Limited edition. Limited edition, yes. Uh, But it's perfect timing, right? It really is. But it's also, I mean, Valentine's Day limited edition are the ones you kind of wait for because they have the, the raspberry, the strawberry, the pretty pink hearts. Cute things. I don't know about you, but I want to destroy something cute today. Yeah. Uh, what I'm happy about is sometimes they just change the shape. And mm-hmm. they say, okay, this is the Valentine's edition. So you take the round circle, you cut a little point <laughs> out of the back, you put the point in the front. It's no, it's shaped like a heart, and there's nothing different about it. But right. this is actually different because there's different ingredients. Which is exciting. Right. I mean, For I've never had snack, any of these. No. Yeah. No? Is this the first year of this limited edition? No, they've done limited editions before for Valentine's, but okay. we'll, we'll cover some of them. All right, we'll get to that. Well, the good news is they got a little, um, the little what do you call that? Cut out um, Valentine's Day cards, so you yeah. can only give it to two people. But today we're, we're doing the Hostess Valentine's Ding Dong, which is heart-shaped. It's the ding same dong. kind of... Ding Dong. Ding <laughs> Dong. I'm sorry. That's it's what still... I want to give to my loved ones. <laughs> ding Dong. It's just funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. If, I, if I giggle every time, it's because so, I have the sense of humor of a 12-year-old boy. Sorry, read the card on the back. <laughs> I'm Ding Dong for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that one didn't really change... That really didn't change their taste. But I don't think we've done Ding Dongs yet, so this is going to yeah, be kind we, of a nice walk We haven't in. done Ding Dongs no. yet. And I would ask you people not to worry as I wander around without my headset on because oh. we're missing some lighting and it doesn't look right. Ah, so you it's not yeah, flattering. Oh, so, yeah. so those that watch, it is, yeah, and there's no light. Um, those that are watching, that watch us on YouTube or even Facebook that mm-hmm. we're on, uh, you're going to get a glimpse of Ed Sullivan maybe. Is it possible <gasps> that he... Oh, no, he's taking the corner. You get a little, you get the arm. That's about it. <laughs> because he doesn't like to be seen. He's always off camera. He, there, Whoa, we go. there we go. Lights Hello. are on. No one's home. Good morning. Um, <laughs> he's like the Wizard of Oz. He's always hiding behind the curtain. Ed, yeah, he, Ed's the producer of the show and makes us sound and look good. He's and, the man uh, behind the curtain. So now he made us look good, too. But the majority of people are listening to the show, not I would watching say so. anyway. Well, that's why I want to I want to tell them what sure. actually we're we're going to be snacking on. The other two are really kind of special because they changed the flavor and not just how they look. So the Twinkies that we're doing are actually strawberry cream filled. So they look pink, they are strawberry flavored supposedly. We're going to check. And then the Hostess cupcakes, which are classic. They actually changed the little white squiggle to a pink squiggle and they filled it with it's a dark chocolate raspberry, which ah. I mean, hello. Yeah. So dramatically different. The really filling is. is different. The chocolate on the outside is different. Uh, Dave, what's the same on the cupcake? The swirl. The same amount of eight right. swirls. It's a different color, but... Yeah, it is. Actually. It's eight they swirls. Right. So to reset the machine and everything to make nine swirls, <laughs> or what, what would be the Valentine's number? Heart two kind of swirls. Just two. Maybe. Oh, that would have been cute. Ah, that would have been tough. They're going to try to steal them away from us. Oh, so uh, interesting to see which one you went for first. I'm starting from left oh, to right. Oh, did you even mention Twinkie? Oh, I did. Okay. Of course I did. Twinkie has a, the uh, same regular outside, but the inside is different. So, so Twinkie the, the Kid, do they put Twinkie the Kid on the front? Yeah. yeah. But he's not He's not dressed in his Valentine's Day garb. He no, just and he should have had his girlfriend with him. Twinkie Does he have girl. a girlfriend? I don't know. He should have. <laughs> Twinkie. Twinkie. And, and the th- there Twinkie. is something different about Aww. Ding Dongs other than... Um, they just shaped it in, instead of a round circle into it into the heart shaped. They also put little kind candies of candies on the outside, heart, heart sprinkles almost. Yeah, yeah, in red, pink, and white colors. 
the it's host. cute, but I like that they changed. I mean, Hostess, you have a ton of products, guys. Yeah. And I love everything that you make, but Thank I like God when you take that extra them. step. Oh, she was. And we've we've talked Hostess before, so mm -hmm. we'll just do a, a quick review on Hostess. Oh, these smell good. They're, they're a brand of snack cakes that originated in 1919 mm. when the first Hostess cupcake was sold. So the cupcake came first. The brand was owned by Continental <coughs> Baking mm. Company until 1995 when Continental was acquired by Interstate Bakeries. Interstate became Hostess Brands in 2009 and began liquidating its assets in 2012. You remember all that yeah. talk of yeah. Twinkies are gone? Yeah, it's depressing. I'll but in 2013, the cake business of Hostess <laughs> Brands was sold to a new company, and the products relaunched on July 15th. And had no problems getting on the retail shelves. No. We talk no. about a little of that sometimes at a tattoo, but it's an iconic name. It's a big thing, but a smaller company that's doing this right now. It's well, Or a know, different company, anyway. They certainly put more into the pack, uh, the Valentine packaging for yeah. the, the ding, ding dong. dong. It looks like it's supposed to give it to somebody. Yeah, you're supposed to write to and from on it. I'm going to write on it to me, from me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll talk a little bit about the ding dong since we've covered the cupcake and Twinkie previously. Oh, I got gypped. I only got four sprinkles. <laughs> me <on> too. <laughs> me too. It doesn't look like the pack of the ding dong, no. I'll tell you that. Only one of them got on top and the other two are stuck on the side. Yep. All right, are, I have a are couple. They in the, are there any in the bag or no? Uh, no. One? Mine's not. Okay, this is not equalizing what it looks like on the package, but okay. No way. Oh. It doesn't say love to me. At least ten. Seriously? Between the top and sides. Wow, well, winner, three. winner. Well, the, the one on the package is showing about 20, oh, and, yeah. and yeah. you don't even see the back <laughs> and the other side. It looks like the candy man farted on it. This one here. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's only three. It's okay. I mean, it's still covered in chocolate. I am a little disappointed that most of my sprinkles are on the side, but that's fine. But you got sprinkles. Yeah, that's true. Literally three. <laughs> that's all right. Hostess, we're going to talk about that. Yep, that's yeah. You're going to fix that machine. So so Hostess began marketing the Ding Dong in 1967. Mm. The name was given to coincide with a television ad campaign featuring a ringing bell. Oh, I get it. Ah. Right. That makes more sense. Less vulgar. In some U.S. markets, it was previously known as Big Wheels. Really? Do you remember oh, really? that, Dave? Mm. No, I don't think so. They were marketed as Big Wheels to avoid confusion with the Ring Ding a pre-existing treat yeah. by Drake's Cakes. The names were consolidated in 1987 by a merger of Drake's with Hostess's parent company. But then the merged company broke up and Hostess was forced to change the name to King Dons until they ended up in another merge company in 1998. The Hostess product was then sold under the name Ding Dongs throughout the United States Although it was still sold as King Dons in Canada. King hmm. King D O N S Dons? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Uh okay. Yeah. So okay. I've noticed this a lot with the competing snack cake companies that they have things that look a little bit like each other, which is fine. I mean we just saw that when we did the, the hostess cupcakes versus, you know, the Entmans and, and you know Yeah. But do they you know what I mean? Like do they they know that they're poaching? Like why do they poach? Right. No need to? No. All right. I'm going to get rocking on this. My little flat. But this looks exactly like the picture. My hostess cupcake With, has the swirls. All right. I went into the ding dong for us. Mm -hmm. It's the same as a ding dong. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, it doesn't have a lot of sprinkles on it. And maybe that's a good thing mm. because the sprinkles were kind of hard yeah. like little pebbles. Yeah. I think I have one caught in a tooth. Yeah. Right <laughs> so it, actually they did us a favor. I want these like sugar pebbles. But uh, whoa, whoa! Fan of the ding dong. Mm -hmm. I like the cream in it. Yeah, it's a winner. It's a, yeah. a stable. It's a chocolate cake. Well, yeah. since you're a fan of the ding dong, we'll do their commercial All right. this week. Mm. Hello there, young man. It's the ding dong. King who? Ding 
down. Don't you see him? No. But you like this thing down. To kids, I'm just as real as the good taste of that chocolatey icing and creamy filling. Why, well, Mom? Now do you see him? I think so, Jim. Hostess Ding Dongs, fruit pies and Twinkies, with Hostess tasting his believing. Yeah, I'm not sure that any mom should support their children's delusions. You realize mm-hmm. that if this was now and they played that, they'd be like, oh, that kid needs therapy. Yeah, <laughs> he's seeing things. It's not, it's not good. Um, I actually just like a Ding Dong. I think they're cute. I don't think there's anything particularly festive about them besides the heart shape because I didn't get many sprinkles. Well, the packaging is festive. The packaging mm-hmm. is adorable. I think they went the extra step on the packaging because they didn't change the filling. If you're going to hand out a Valentine, why not actually hand out a Valentine that has these on it? So for kids, if you know there's no allergies in your class, give somebody a ding-dong. Well, I think even if there's allergies, give out what you want. So sensitive now. Yeah, I know. Mm. All right. It's it's a delicious cupcake. Is it a cupcake? Would you consider like a heart shaped cake a, a cupcake? It's a it's a snack cake. Yes. I like calling everything a cupcake. So I already took a bite of the Hostess with the dark. It's dark chocolate raspberry. Yep. It's phenomenal. This is so good. No. A little bit of a no? chemical taste to it though. Yeah. Every snack cake that's not homemade by our Ed Sullivan tastes. Well, chemical. the Twinkie has the same cream in it, and the cream tastes better mm. in the Twinkie than mm. it does in the. In the hostess cupcake. Strawberry, raspberry. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're right. The aftertaste on the raspberry is a little funky. Yep. And And, and does that have to do with the dark chocolate maybe? No, it just tastes like over raspberry extract. You know what I mean? Like that chemically. You think they went too far? Just a little. I think there's a reason why it's a limited release and it's not going to stick around. Mm. No, I don't think there's a plan to carry it forward. No. Now, interestingly, Mm. the on the Twinkie, they have been previously released with the strawberry cream, but not as a limited edition. I think the problem of the cupcake might actually be the chocolate on top. Just taste the chocolate on top by itself. Mm. Is that where the uh, funky taste is coming from? Oh, yeah. Mm. I think that combined with the actual raspberry makes it even more mm. amplified. Let's go with this. It's it's not um, the cream by itself. No, it's both. It's both. It's it is both. Mm-hmm. So it's just it's different. I mean, aren't you nice? Because it's it's worse than different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious. Do you use chocolate liqueur in this? No, there's no, no possible way. No. That's all baked off, so it doesn't matter. I am Chocolate like liquor. Look at that. Mikey, you got a good palate. Mm. Yeah, you get it definitely as like a solid. Chocolate liquor. Mm-hmm. That's what I figured. It's, um, huh. I mean, it, mm, they're cute. I'll give them they're <clears throat> cute. So a kid's cupcake with chocolate liquor to flavor? Maybe it'll keep them quiet. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Have some of those cupcakes and go to sleep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I've tried everything. I, I like the strawberry Twinkies. They taste like strawberry shortcake. Those are pretty darn good. They are. Yeah. The Twinkie doesn't taste that. That's why I thought maybe Ooh. it was the, it was definitely not definitely the chocolate, but that's part of it for sure. <laughs> found found our little <laughs> heart for it. I gave him a little heart because oh. he didn't have too many on his. It's timber. <laughs> Who knows what's falling? So. um what day is it tomorrow, Dave? Tomorrow? Yeah. February 3rd? February 3rd? Yeah, what happens tomorrow? Oh, Super Bowl. Oh, Super Bowl. Super Bowl Jeez. Sunday. So, mm. That's what we're going to do a couple <clears throat> snack stories on. All right. Oh, I'm happy with that. Okay, so there's going to be a Pringles Super Bowl commercial. Mm-hmm. Ah, and they have an Alexa-like smart speaker, and it's the star of the commercial. It's called Sad Device. And the commercial is meant to promote flavor stacking. Okay. The ad features two youngsters mixing and matching Pringles chip flavor combinations, right? So right. you stack different flavors. Mm. Mm. Now, this may be something we need to explore at some point. I, you, know, you know that's true. 
One asks, how many Pringles stack combinations are there? To which the smart speaker answers, 318,000. Combinations. So Mathematical equation. That mm. could keep this show going for a while if we do, a, <laughs> you know, a few years on Pringles or yeah. something. So you take the pizza flavor mm -hmm. and you mix it with the sour cream and you mm. say, okay, this is what the flavor is. Yep. Okay. And Good marketing. Know, Depending on how many different uh, flavors there are, you could make a stack of every flavor. Oh, I don't know how tall that gets. Well, they had a commercial <clears throat> where they were doing that. They were like, oh, combine these two, combine these two. Yeah. And I'm like, is that going to be too confusing? It's called stacking. It's called buy, buy like three different kinds instead of just <laughs> one. Like, I get it. I get what you're doing, and I like it. But, but I mean, that's a, a valid snack commercial for the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The next one is Mr. Peanut oh, is like going to make an appearance. Wow, he hasn't been around for quite a while. He's always. Kraft Heinz, who's the maker of uh, the Planters Peanut, has a commercial starring Mr. Peanut, along with baseball player Alex Rodriguez and Charlie Sheen. <laughs> oh, so, some oh, money boy. spent there. They spent some money. Yeah, saw... Along with the $20 million it is to run the commercial, whatever <laughs> that is. She was. So Mr. Peanut goes on a wild ride in the Planters Nutmobile. <laughs> to stop Rodriguez from snacking on boring chips. In crunch time, he slips in a tin of Planters Deluxe Mixed Nuts under Rodriguez's hand. This sounds very dramatic. Yeah. It does. <laughs> a cameo by Sheen has him saying, and some people think I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he becomes the plant that's nuts because he's crazy nuts. <laughs> Maybe he could be Mr. Peanut. No, Mr. Peanut's way too dignified and British looking. You think? He's got the monocle. Top hat, cane. True, yeah. True tails even, I think. Yeah, right? Mr. Peanut is probably disgusted with Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they couldn't even yeah. appear together. We'll yeah. have to watch for that. Watch for whether Mr. Peanut's giving off any body language. Yeah. Wax, wax Sheen with a cane. Really quick, every time I think of Charlie Sheen, I think of Butterfingers. What was that movie with uh, Christy, no, Chris, The Chase or something? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Excellent movie. Yeah. Oh, the one where he robs the uh, convenience, the uh, gas station with a chocolate bar and yeah. takes her hostage. Oh, yeah. And he yeah. doesn't actually rob drive. it. It's an excellent movie, and it'll associate forever Charlie Sheen with Butterfingers, which is a better association than crazy. All right. So he's you know, crazy. He was a car rock. You know what we're going to talk about next, Dave? Uh-oh. Pop-Tarts. Ah, mm. I love a Pop-Tart. Have and you I ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? Ah. It's so freaking good. Yes, I have. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? I had them with you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I had Pop-Tarts with butter with you. <laughs> yes, we did. But I know where you're going, the new Pop-Tart, right? Well... Actually, this one, I don't know if you saw it. This is more of a social media story. Hmm. So Pop-Tarts has an account called okay. Pop-Tarts. And on Twitter, Pop-Tarts has announced a potential run for president in ah, 2020. Not where I was going with this. Yeah. No, no. So they tweeted, hello, I am considering a presidential run in 2020. Please retweet if you would support this endeavor. Hostess Snacks on Twitter replied, only if we are your VP. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> to which Pop-Tarts replied, I'll consider it because I'm considerate. Ah. <laughs> That's the, the did, news did, for this one. Well, did you hear about the new Pop-Tarts? No, which... They're making they bite-sized Pop-Tarts. Really? And they come in in, uh, was it in a bag, a little teeny... Pop tots, huh. and my question was: Do you just eat them like eating popcorn, just reaching Probably. your hand in and eating them, or are you supposed to put them on a baking sheet or something and make these little pop tots, little snacks? People are coming over and they're hot little like pizza pop tot rolls. snacks, right? But they're little little pop tots, bite sized pop tots. I'd be curious That's about dangerous. that because even the big pop tart, you get a good half inch round thing without no filling. Oh, I didn't even think yeah, of that. Yeah, how much filling is going to possibly be in there? You it's know? going to be a schmear. Is it like a little pea-sized drop in the middle of this thing? Or? I think we should try them. Still we, go for it. I know we should. We'll hunt them down. I, I just right. heard about it yesterday, and I was like, okay, where do I get that? <laughs> Bite-sized Pop-Tarts. Yeah, they're actually making Pop-Tart splits now. Each Pop-Tart has two different flavors in it. 
Ah, oh, that's right. I got so see, they, they're, they're coming around now, so I like to see that. Pop tarts are big. I I don't know if you're aware. In the Boston area, I think it's uh, Flower is a bakery, and mm -hmm. they're mostly in the city. Uh, I think the pastry chef is named Joanne Chang. She makes homemade pop tarts. Right. That look phenomenal. Are you allowed to? Call them pop tarts. No. Probably not. Toaster Probably not. pastries or it's something. Definitely yeah. sounds like an infringement. I would like to have another ding dong just to make sure I really <laughs> like. I it. think you really yeah. should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now that butter on a pop tart part song. Yeah. Is it, stuck in it there. Sticks oh, with it you. sticks. All day. So here's Thank the amazing thing Farland. about these: is we're talking about a quarter. These cost about a quarter a piece. Mm -hmm. Uh, exactly a quarter when it comes to the Twinkie. Yes. So the Twinkies, everything here is $2.50 for a package. You're looking at eight quantities on the Valentine's Ding Dongs and on the Hostess Cupcakes, but you're looking at 10 for a Twinkie. So 25 cents a piece for Twinkies and 31 cents a piece for your Ding Dongs or well, Good value cupcakes. snack. Yeah. yeah. It's too say. easy to eat the whole it's box, like the though. Old, it's like the old days. I haven't, eaten a, I haven't eaten a dollar's worth yet, and I'm, very <laughs> 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 I'm content, but I am going in again. I mean, it reminds me of the times well, I used to be able to go into a gas station and get the little Debbie snack cakes for a quarter. Yeah. Good luck now. Yeah, right. But here it so is. So is this indicating what direction you're leaning? It is. Would you, li would you like w me to give my uh, yeah. recommendation or whatever? Um, in dead last place, and really in dead last place, is the Hostess Cupcake, which I'm a fan of, the Hostess Cupcake. Yeah. I think we po right. chose that as our best cupcake. We chose that in the Christmas limited edition. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was, was that a golden cake? That was a, that a golden one? cake. Yeah, golden with cake with white yeah. frosting on yes. But chemically tasting, mm. um, even the filling was no good. There was a bad taste. The, the, the combination was even worse. The, the it, only thing they got right were the squiggles, eight of them. Right. Yeah. But I don't even know if the pink squiggle part tasted okay. <laughs> and to show you I'm not, good. Uh, I don't have a problem with the pink frosting. <clears throat> On the Twinkie, the strawberry frost frosting was great. And mm -hmm. yeah, it wasn't huge strawberry flavor. Yeah. It was a little bit subdued, and I think that works. It does. Good Twinkie, second place, way ahead of the cupcake. But the winner is the Ding Dong because it's almost the same Ding Dong. They hot-shaped it. They didn't get a lot of sprinkles on there. That was actually maybe a good call. First yeah. they took the picture, and then they, <laughs> as they were taste testing, it says, put a lot less sprinkles on those things. Yeah. Oh, At the beginning, I was pro had a problem with it, but as you get tasting it, I appreciate the effort of removing <laughs> yeah. the sprinkles. So the little boulders. Um, Ding Dong takes this. And Ding Dong. I'll make it simple. I'm completely aligned with you. You know, I'm not even sure I could give the cupcake a passing grade. Right. I, I'm not mm -hmm. eating another one. Yeah. No. I'm going to have to flip-flop a little. I actually like the Twinkie a lot more. It was good. Because I like sponge cake. I don't know why. But I'm going to have to go with the Twinkie, then the Ding Dong, and then bleh, dead last is that Hostess Chemical Cake. I like the Hostess Cupcake best. I'm just kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, she's exactly opposite. No, I actually, I, I, um, I give them credit for what they did. I usually really like a dark chocolate raspberry, but that is, it's very chemically. Um, I'm lining up with both Ed and Dave. I like the Ding Dong. I'm a little sad about the sprinkles because I think it was lying to me on the package, which yeah. offends me. But their packaging for Valentine's Day, spot on. Give it as a gift, followed by the Twinkie, which is a light strawberry shortcake. And then, obviously, the Twinkie is a, is a lower price, so it, it's actually really up there. It's very yeah. close. And Jess, I'm going to put up the, the cam that you can see up on the screen. Why yeah. don't you show off that Ding Dong packaging? The Ding Dong? Yeah. This is really cute. So instead of sending one of those cute little Valentines, which you still can on the back, these ones look like this. So they come in a completely opaque package. Can you see it? Yeah, it's super cute. And it says to and from, and it says Valentine Ding Dongs. It doesn't say, like on the back of this, I'm Ding Dong for you or anything, which is right. great. Because it's cut out Valentine's on yeah, everything. Yeah, you're right, right on it, and you hand that out at school or something. You'd be oh, the nice. hero. Oh, my God. You I would mean, for the fat kids anyway, because I would have loved it. <laughs> <laughs> but see what I mean about, like, the back of these? They actually will show you uh, the allergens in it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they're really all about making it safe for everybody, including little kids. But I like what they did there. I think that's very sweet. Yeah. 
That's a win all well, around. Yeah. Please let your snack eating friends know about us. Share us. Subscribe to us. Give us a five star rating. If you guys ever have an idea for a snack we should dig into or something to pair against each other, contest us at the snack authority at gmail.com. This is the Snack Authority for Mikey, Ed, Dave, and myself. Have a wonderful week and go Pats. Happy Ding dong, we're gone. Day. Ding dong, we're gone. <laughs> <laughs>The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.